Hello everybody, this is one quick video view on the DFL WD firmware repair program. So users can operate on the SATA ID and USB hard drives by this firmware repair program. Okay. From this menu you can find out the current version you are using. Now let's enter the program. Power on the hard drive first. Start to enter the program. Get the hard drive ID details. And here users can find its part information. This may help when you are trying to find a dollar head for your hard drive. Here you can set your saved parts. And this is the firmware name of your current hard drive. So all information are detected and displayed here. Users can check modules. All the firmware modules are listed here. You can right click on it and find the sub menus. You can read by ID and by ABA. Here you can view the defects of the hard drive. And here is the bad sector check-in. Right click. You can start a scan. And click stop. Here you can check the self-test processor. Here is the hex view of the hard drive. Users can view the hex data by its LBA, ABA modules, tracks, ROM, and RAM. Let's check the functions of the hard drive. We can use these are the common ATA commands. For loading is one very useful technology to diagnose whether the hard drive clinking is caused by firmware failure or by the head failure. Logical scan. Password security. Common repair. This one is also very useful. Users can convert the LBA value to the CHS value to find out the head number of the LBA you are to find. For example, so you can open the details. This LBA value is located on the head zero. So this one is very useful. NHPA. Users can note E11, note 13, note 5C. This is the 13 and 5C noting on many for the new hard drives. Head map acting in RAM. This one is very useful for the unstable hard drives. Erase sector. This one is for HD refurbishing. It's not suggested to use for data recovery purpose. So ROM operations, read ROM, read ROM modules, write ROM, write ROM modules, head map. 
This one is very useful. Hooters can cut head. If you cut head, this is for the hard drive refurbishing purpose too. And of course, this is also the interface where you can diagnose whether the failure is caused by the head. You can untick the head one by one and see if the drive stops clinking. So users can generate the module 47. This one is very useful too. ROM zip test. When you write the ROM, you must find out if the ROM matches your original. So this test will tell you the result. The head adaptive data. So this one is also very useful. Sometimes after you swap the head, the hard drive may be full of bad sectors. This can be caused by the failure or unmatched parameters of the head adaptive. So users can edit the adaptive parameters here. This one comes mainly from the 47 or 40. So users can also regenerate the ROM for the Marvel L series and regenerate ROM for the new Royal series. And here is a DIR starting address at editing. This one is very useful too. For more operations, users can check modules and can test the head read and write abilities. Read write modules, read write tracks, read write essay, the service error, the whole essay. Read all resources. Write common firmware. General generate modules. 11.02.03 Module Editing Very useful Users can get modules from tracks and combine the modules into tracks This one is very useful too for the little hard drives. You can load the module DIR, that's the module 1 to the RAM, and then you can read all the modules after snooting, even if the hard drives are not detected. Set the TPI and CAP, yeah, for refurbishing purpose. Cut zones, format essay, yeah, format essay is sometimes used when you try to you know, use the common firmware and write data recovery key modules, the special method to handle the complicated firmware cases. Clear modules, delete modules, defects. View GP list, G2PG list, playlist. Yeah, users can have two options to generate playlist and playlist uh, module 36. Users can view and generate playlist, essay list, view and clear, smart list, reset smart, and a lot of options for smart handling. Translator clear and generate. F list. For refurbishing purpose too. Defect log. Within log window, you can find the defect log. So this this one, uh, the self-test optimization. This menu is mainly for the hard drive refurbishing purpose. Arco process initialize the hard drive one button arco and the self-test 
single self-test process. Monitor self-test. Stop monitoring. Format. This format is to format the data area, so it's for hard drive refurbishing purpose too. So with the DFWD firmware repair program, users can almost finish all the WD hard drive firmware cases. It's one very powerful firmware repair too. Thank you for watching this quick view demo video.